Brr, it's cold. Now, here's the thing. Most of the time when people think of hydration, they're only thinking about the summertime and hot sweat and exertion and the things that come along with that. Well, today it's a frigid 52 here in Florida where I live. Don't hate. I know the rest of the country is uh, frozen in blankets of snow, which brings me to my point of what I wanted to share with you guys today. So, my name is Dr. Anthony Beck, and I am the creator of Oral IV. And one of the things that we oftentimes forget is the importance of hydration during times of cold. Uh, the thing about it is, is the body's need for water and how it functions doesn't stop when it gets cold. It's not just for when it's hot. So what I want to really do is make sure I remind everybody of the importance of hydration during these cold uh, seasons. Now, the thing about it is, is when it gets cold, you know, the body actually, uh, its thirst or its desire to drink fluids actually gets a little bit less acute. So sometimes uh, people forget to consume water. The other thing about it is, is that uh, when you're under exertion, um, you're breathing out a lot of uh, air. Uh, you're taking in the air and, and losing moisture to the environment. But when it's cold, that actually goes up exponentially so the thing about it is is when you're breathing in dry low humidity air it literally is robbing the body of moisture through respiration even in states when you're not um, under exertion so indoors you've got heaters and furnaces and all kinds of things like that the oxygen level tends to be lower in the house the body tends to breathe more to make up for that low oxygen saturation and with every time you inhale and you exhale you're actually losing water so what's the answer the answer is oral IV so make sure that you uh, take a moment pop the top take a direct Follow that up with about 12 to 16 ounces of water, um, and then you'll feel all the difference in the world in these dry times, especially when it comes to your skin, uh, your cognition, and just the way the body works all over in general. Now, the difference is here is keep in mind that Oral IV works on a different level than other rehydration type um, uh, strategies, most of those of which are based upon different levels of sugar and salts. Well, the body doesn't need those things coming in in order to uptake uh, water, uh, specifically when it's in a colder uh, environment. But the second thing is, is that that only gets water into the stomach and into vascularity. What happens to the water after that is where the rubber really hits the road. So what we want to make sure of is we want to increase the body's bioelectrical potential to work with that water as it functions surrounding the layers of our cells and the organelles within our cells like the mitochondria that actually manufacture water and heat themselves, especially in times of cold. So over this tip uh, makes sense to you. Get out there, uh, enjoy the cold weather. It's a good thing for your health, but at the same time, don't forget, pack out your Oral IV, stay hydrated. Talk to you soon.